Hello and welcome to VLearn Virtual Learning Network. This is session 10 of Administrative Theories, Human Relations Approach, Elton Mayo. Topics to be covered, Introduction, Meaning and Emergence, Economic de Depreciations, Capital Intensives Industries, Technology Progress, Reactions of Terrorism's Call, Classes and Antagonisms, Early Experiments of Mayo, Houghton Study, Absentism in Industry and Criticisms. Introduction. Yes, in this session of uh, administrative theory, we will going to have an uh, understanding about what are the contributions of the Elton Mayo in administrative approach. What kind of a concept Elton Mayo gives. If we talk about the organizational point of view, the contribution of Elton Mayo is very um, good and very big, very recognized contributions there. So the approaches of uh, organization mainly from the structural point of view. Uh, he considered the structural concept and stru uh, structural areas. The limitation of this approach leads to search for the alternative approaches to fully understand the working of organization, to fully um, understand the concepts of organization. The emergence of human relation approach is result of such a search since the contribution of Elton Mayo is very important. So yes, we were going to study about the Elton Mayo in this session. Now meaning and emergence. The term human relations mostly refer to the relation between workers and employers which are not regulated by the legal norms. These relationships are concerned with morals and uh, psychological rather than legal factors. However, the term industrial relationship which embers both the above mentioned concepts should be not be confused with the human relationship. So the human relation concept is concerned with devising the concerned method for the ideological orientation of the worker in the industry. So the biggest contribution of Elton Mayo is basically emphasizing on the relationship between the workers and employees. They will consider that this thing that in the organization, the factory if we consider, so there are always a relationship between workers and employers. Yes, this relationship needs to be very enhanced and at the same time, more moral, more psychological factor must be there rather than legal factor. There was no legal respect and all, but yes, their legal aspects are there to regulate them, to work them properly. But if we talk about their relationship, so they are more towards the moral factors, more towards the psychological factor that so and so person is a boss of a particular person. At the same time, the motivational relationship they are sharing together. So in that case, yes, they are somewhere very much related. The term industrial relationship, that is why very much confused with this concept when Elton Man induced that, that what kind of a relationship there is. There is always an organization who wants people to work. There is no kind of relationship exist but yes at the same time this new concept of Elton Mayo gives the new ideologies gives the new perspectives of the human relation concepts human relation ideologies orientations of work they give a new dimension they give a new scenario so there are several economic factors influence the emergence of theories and practices of the human relation the most important of them, yes, they are come up with the new, new things, new, new practices in the organization viewpoint, in the organization concern. And these are what the economic depressions, capital incentives, industries, technological progress, reactions to the terrorism at the same time, the class autonomous. So these kind of in a concept was most important, which was introduced by the Elton Mayo and they are considered in the very important perspective. They are this kind of in a concept was mainly focusing towards the uh, social and economical factor of the country or we can say that industry. They are mainly considering about that, yes, what are the scenarios, economic scenarios of the country and how it is going to affect the overall perspective of the country. Now, the first one is economic depression. Economic depression is basically a me mechanization, reduce the physical stress considerably, but if had increased the mental strain. So employers found themselves compliant to focus their attention on the psychological or the human factor in the industry. The interest of the employees in their work begins to determine the productivity level to an uh, increasing degree. 
so growing concentration and the specialization of the production demands better coordination in the work for all the sections of the enterprises so researchers are basically come up with this thing that there was a relationship between members of production team where very much important with regard to the attainments of the end so that is what the another main important concept because they come up with this thing that it is always required to have a great emphasis on the overall working or on the overall uh, performance of the employees yes before that every industry is working on the one perspective that is what how to Uh, increase the productivity how to be more productive in that case yes this would lead to the very mental strain are there they are very they are not towards as good as what they are the potential are so in that case yes the growing concern is rise of this concept jaise jaise scenarios uh, change hote gaye to ye concept rise up hua ki it is always required that uh, there must be a relationship between members of production there must be a relations between uh, the work of them that is why just to bring them a proper working in the organization so they relate the productivity with the human concept that if human is having a on a good perspective and good motivational scenario in the organization so they can work more and better capital incentive industry they are during this period they were basically becoming capital intensive they are putting more equipment and uh, more work so breakdown of equipment strikes high labor turnover used to cause a monopolies and morris losses so yes they are actually this is what the basically a downfall of the overall working of that industrial area because they overall working is changing the overall uh, scenarios are uh, changing technological progress yes this is the uh, basically related to the major change in the workers as well the level of education profession skills basically rose considerably so that's the workers started demanding more and more uh, resonatories and uh, insisting that they be treated as a human being so this is what this is uh, actually another change that technology improvement ki wajah se yes this was a major area jahan par ek bahut bada effect aaya tha workers pe they were affected so in that case they were start uh, requesting and they were start emphasizing that they yes, they are human being and they must be treated like as an a human being uh, they have certain requirements they have uh, certain skills which must be considered at rather than the technological dependency would be there reactions to the uh, terrorism so the human relation approach was also uh, partly a reaction to the one sided nature of the taylor system it was criticized as a design of uh, intensive explorations of rising a productivity level through the improved organization of the production and the maximum utilization of the worker physical capacity so this phenomena could not be rose uh, uneasiness amongst the employer since they lead to be drop in a labor productivity to the absurdism and the high level turnover yes this was another uh, scenario which raises the human relationship concept that the taylor's view point taylor view point is very much towards the productivity how they can increase the productivity how they can explore the productivity they were more towards the administrative side they were more towards how you can put a more work and how you can bring out that work from your employees this kind of scenario was there they are more working on the physical capacity so in that case yes this is rise the another human concept another is class autonomous that is what they were basically a character of in a trade union management a movement in the united state escalated the introduction of human relation approach uh, this view is basically criticized by monopolist that explained by a uh, growth of the labor the movement and the expansions of the trade union basically performed now the early experiment of the elton mayo yes uh, this was the first major research was basically started that the first inquiry is the first experiment which is conducted by the elton mayo he basically studied the problem of the mill spinning department extensively from the various angles and uh, with the help of a management started experimenting to bring with he introduced the rest period with the every team of a piece the result were uh, encouraging the scheme was extended to all the workers to eliminate the problems of fatigue 
so the workers basically interested in these schemes and were pleasured with the result so this uh, the synonymous or we can then uh, say that the symptoms of the uneasiness disappeared the labor turnover among us come to an end production rose and morale general improvement was basically there so the first inquiry is the basically a contribution or we can say that the experiment conducted by elton mayo in this experiment they were actually worked with the management to understand overall practices of the organization um whatever they practices in their new scenario whatever they come with the different different solutions and different different uh, issues which rising the fatigue and they come up with the different schemes to reduce that fatigue to work that in that scenario uh, just because that fatigue going to be minimized so in that sense yes they lead to the uh, happiness and uh, symptom was they were uh, love this concept they come up with the a uh, new production production was basically ro ro rise up at the same time morale was improve at the same time the uneasiness was basically winded up and turnover is almost ended so this kind of uh, the result which is basically comes into the early experiments of elton mayo this was basically a beginning of elton mayo to the proceed further he basically suggested a number of new schemes whereby the worker had to earn their rest period and bonuses by providing more than a certain percentage some more new schemes like stopping the spinning sessions completely from 10 minutes brought a new changes in the outlook of the supervisor and employees and all of them was uh, satisfied with their with this new working culture so the management uh, had replaced the control of rest of a peer sequentially in the hand of a workers which lead to consulting amongst the workers so this is what the new scheme they come up with the if the organization wants to rise up the control and rise up the production in that case there must be an a period of uh, bonus period of uh, in including the or increasing the production at the same time they come up with the new new changes in the organization and the overall work Uh, was handed over to the worker just to perform better, and yes, they need certain kind of consultancy. Provide that consultancy and uh, give that work to the employees. Howard study is one of the biggest contribution of the Elton Mayo. The next phase of uh, experiment. This is what basically the beginning from nineteen twenty four. and it is what a clear cut cause and effect relationship between physical work environment and um, at the other hand the working of the productivity of the worker on the other hand so they keep in mind the two scenarios that is what the physical environment physical work and environment and a well being of the worker second the productivity of worker in one dim dimension there is the physical environment work and well being on the other side there is productivity therefore they assume that the ventilation room temperature lightning physical working condition wages and centers they are the major contributions who need to have to improve the productivity of the organization in that case yes there are many experimented conducted to prove that uh, that thing so the first is what the greater enumeration that is this is what the group of female worker each consisting of six was there and they are located in the two separate room they perform the same task so the room were equally illuminated to examine the level of production on the basis of varying level of illuminations so in the beginning working condition was stabilized then slowly the condition of the work were changed to mark the effect of these changes on the output my friend that the work satisfaction depends on the large extent on the informal social patterns of the working group he thought that the supervisor could be trained to play a different role which could help him to take the personal interest in the subordination that was the first part which is uh, they were putting and emphasized in this concept elton mayo basically focused on the illumination effect illumination effect is basically about the lightning that means what kind of an lightning effect they have so in that case they divided the group into the two part and uh, the, the both part have in a six six uh, female in it and they were basically understanding the 
working and their conditions in the workplace how they were felt like if the illumination effect is going to be decreases and uh, what is their reactions on that illuminations effect so in that they were basically elton may believe that they this kind of in a pattern is didn't matter in that case they always required an informal social patterns to perform they always required the informal working to perform if they have this kind of in a different different roles and they have that interest so automatically they can work more effectively and more properly this was the first effect which defined that that yes informal structure was there and that will informal structure definitely pursue them and affect them to perform better human attitude and sentiments yes this was the another analysis of the elton mayo the worker were asked to express freely and frankly their likes and dislikes in this uh, एरिया उन्हें क्या पसंद है उन्हें क्या नहीं पसंद है ये क्लियर कट आइडियाज में बताने के लिए कहा गया एंड यस दे आर दे हैव दैट सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ की व्हाट व्हाट दे थिंक अबाउट द पॉलिसीज अबाउट द प्रोग्राम द वर्किंग कंडीशन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दिस काइंड ऑफ एनालिसिस और जज दिस बेसिकली दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज कंडक्टेड to get the understanding about the mental attitude of the worker that how they would think and how they performed in uh, the organization what they actually considered that so they basically feels better through there was a no material change in the environment where the data was analyzed it was found out that there was no correlation between the complaints and the facts so after that analyzing the data they come to analyze this thing that uh, there was not as such emphasized on the uh complain then fact there was no correlation between them in hawthorn study these this is basically three aspects are there the three studies was basically conducted and uh, they give the understanding about that three study first was the worker appreciate the method of collecting the information on the problem of a company the first thing they were getting that uh, the way uh, the data is collected while understanding their concepts also and they were getting the understanding about the organization this was very much appreciated there was a, a change in the supervisors because the work was closely observed by the research team and subordinate were allowed to talk freely so this was the another change which arises in the organization to talk freely to work freely and uh, the researcher teams also analyzed that they had acquired a new skill in understanding and dealing with their fellow beginnings so in that case yes this is what required to realize that there was always required to have a new new skills in the organization and then social organization social organization is basically stating the informal group in the organization that um, observation method was followed by analyzing the group behavior number of employees was basically performed there three group of workmen whose uh, work was interrelated they were selected for the studies or uh, the job was uh, solicited fixed for the terminal and finish wiring so the worker was paid on the basis of group incentives plans so this was the one experimental technique that it must be paid by the group incentives plan and each member got his share on the basis of the total productivity of the group so if the group productivity is high so everybody got in a good output it was basically found that worker has a clear cut standard of output which was lower than the target fixed by management so they basically simply state that that it's a clear cut standard of output it's a clear cut uh, working if it's lower than target it fixed the management standard was fixed by the management of the output so the worker uh, according to their standard plans did the lot to increase or decrease the output so the uh, output was uh, held down to maintain the uniform rate of output that was highly integrated with the social structure and informal pressures in that case mayo and his team found out the behavior of a group had uh, nothing to do with the management or the general economic condition that was the first understanding that group behavior is uh, never be affected by the management working and uh, management and uh, the group behavior is two different concept worker resent the interference of the supervisor and technologies who were supposed to increase the efficiency also but the these things are considered as disturbance and the worker throughout the experts follow the logics of the efficiency they were considered and appreciated so that's the study concluded that one should not ignore the human aspects of the organization and they must emphasize on the technical and economic aspects of the organization also 
absenteeism in industry is one of the important aspect that they were uh, may they are the people who were turnover absenteeism was high they extend the possible of management should encourage and formation of the informal group they treat the problems of the worker with the human understandings the labor should not be developed a feel that they were subject to exploiting by the management this this is the major subject they were exploited by the management that is why absenteeism and turnover is very high so mayo suggested the formation of the informal group so that the corporations of the employees could be developed so a informal group create karne ki suggestion di uh, by the mayo that is what lead to have the cooperation and coordination in the industry so the study this also lead to an uh, increase understanding of the human factors in uh, work situation and the degree and the greater degree of a communication system between the employers and employees if we talk about the criticisms the ground that the theory try to substitute the human relation oriented supervisor from the union representation peter dicker was basically state that that human relations were lacked from the awareness of economic dimensions and uh, yes they felt that the it's neglect the nature of a work they are not uh, considering that what kind of in a work is worker doing what are the skill they were using so a uh, nature of work ko is theory ka na neglect kiya gaya tha dusra it over emphasized on the human relation work they are not considering the main purpose and yes at the same time there were the general softness and lack of directions at the same time the are fail as a social scientist arises in the large majors from his failure to define and sharply the ethical uh, pre suppositions of his scientific work so yes there are few factors which you have to do it yourself first is um, discuss the factor which leads to emergence of the industrial relation theories second is discuss the experiment conducted at the western electronic uh, company the uh, last which we experiment discussed the elton mayer they are basically discussing about the experiment conducted in the western electronic company so yes you have to attend this question and this is all about for the today's session we will winding up here thank you so much happy learning we learn